Folks, there is currently a tropical storm outside, the worst we've had all year. We're trying to record a video, we're still gonna go ahead. I just wanted to show you how ridiculous this rain is before we start, because there'll be a lot of background noise. Let's <laughs> close that up. Whoa. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is the greatest diorama I have ever made. I just want to say that outright. I am so proud of this thing. I made it on a live stream that lasted three and a half hours. And it's actually the first large-scale diorama that I've made that is not like a chaotic nightmare of war, you know? Nobody's fighting in this one. It's just the UNSC in their base. I present to you... Oh the UNSC base of operations for the domain. This is like honestly fantastic. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's pretty chaotic, yes it is pretty jam-packed, but I think it's just about enough. Like this is, I, there's so many layers to this thing. I'm gonna try and break it down as much as I can. I hope you also check out the live stream where I built this thing. I'll show a time lapse at the end showing exactly how I built it. Just shout out to 82 marines. They're not all on here. There's still about 10 that I didn't I couldn't even fit on I scored 82 marines from a guy in Hong Kong recently And if you guys have been following my YouTube channel, I've been selling goodie bags They're five random figures all of the goodie bags include these marines And I was sat there two days ago, and I was thinking man I'm really gonna miss these guys like I've been staring at them for a good month or two And now I gotta say goodbye to 82 Mwah, these beautiful marines so I wanted a way to celebrate and send them off with a bang. I think I did exactly that. This diorama has some rich lore involved. I'll break it down as best I can. This is Firebase Delta, Delta D for Domain, and this takes place on Earth about two weeks after the events of Halo 4. As you know, in Halo 4, the fighting takes place primarily on Requiem, the Forerunner shield world that houses the Didact. You saw my largest Forerunner diorama where the Didact squared up against Fireteam Majestic, and shortly after that, Lasky had to come back to Earth to relay a lot of the information that they learned there back to Oni Special Operations. Here we can see, coming through the main door, is Captain Lasky with Roland in hand. He's getting a six person salute from the Marines and he's heading over to the Oni operatives. So these Oni soldiers led by their captain are going to this secret little vault. This vault door opens and inside are Forerunner weapons. Because Forerunner weapons have never been seen by the UNSC before until the events of Requiem, they're now being brought out top secret. The Marines have been told to look away in different directions. They're gonna present some of these weapons that they've acquired when the Didact invaded Earth, or tried to compose Earth, I would say. So they're going to meet together, and Lasky has a special operations mission for a group of ODSTs. They're going to research some of these weapons and see where some coordinates take them. We've got the ODSTs here. I had them led by Mickey. I know Mickey doesn't really fit into the lore of this, but still, they're being guarded by another Oni soldier. I gave all the Oni soldiers very special weapons, including this really nice railgun and backpack. This base is at full operations right now, getting ready for Lasky's arrival. They've got a lot of training outside. They're moving sandbags in through the doorway and laying them out. And then they're also renovating all their vehicles ready for the upcoming conflict. We've got this, and this is probably my favorite part of the diorama, this Warthog Repair Station. We've got all the Marines on deck and they're repairing different parts of the hog. This Marine here with the ammunition belt slung over her shoulder. Two of these Marines take taking out the windshield. Four of them here swapping the tires out. We got this guy repairing some tires and this one underneath the belly doing some extra work. I supported this really nicely and it, it, it's just really great. It feels like a tiny little mechanic shop. The other highlights in here, one of the recommendations from the stream was having a Marine juggling grenades. So he's literally slinging four of them in the air. This guy's clapping, he's very impressed. And then this one has been slouching off. He's relaxing but this Oni officer is about to, well, tell him off, but then also he's got a knife in his hand. I mean, you know how the Oni are. He might be dragging him off. This guy, he, he knows, he's scared. He's sort of shunting away now. I kitted out all 
all the marines standing on guard with just assault rifles, but then the ones that are in higher command, like this guy, has a shotgun, and this one is also loading up the weapons ready for the ODST's mission. Coming around the other side of this base now, leading outside, we've got these two marines jetpacking here. They've both got matching, really nice skinned battle rifles. The UNSC flag is blowing in the breeze, and this guy has just noticed something over there. He's pointing into the forest. He's just spotted from his high vantage point. Someone lurking in the trees here. Who would that be? Uh-oh, it's Julem Dharma. <laughs> so there are five different protected outposts outside. One of them is down one man. He's been dragged into the forest by Julem Dharma, half AC cloak, and he's hiding in the trees. This guy should be watching out for Julem Dharma. He's special operatives, but he's distracted by all of these Marines at boot camp here. So I chose two special ODSTs for this Graves and Lang, and I swapped out their heads for Cutters and Junes. So these guys are the drill sergeants, and they're putting their men through the ropes. These two are doing bench press-ups, and these five are running through camp. This one's actually really out of breath. I swapped out all of the heads of the uh, sort of not-in-service Marines for Halo Infinite Marine heads. That includes the mechanics in the shop as well. A turret here, three turrets this side, and a radio tower. This is from the radar wreckage. Actually, holding this in place on the diorama was one of the challenges because it's not got a base to it but I built a little loose frame around the outside and now it just sort of holds in place. All of the different assets are guarded very heavily. This one also has a marine sniper. He's looking out into the distance, but he's not seen the uh, the priority target there. He's, uh, he's not looking too hard. Probably the most ridiculous part of this diorama, which I know everybody's just gonna lose their minds over, a live firing range on grunts. There are some storm grunts that I've tied up with string and these marines are shooting at them led by this drill sergeant from Yankee Squad. The grunts are <laughs> like poor grunts, man. Even this one, I found out that the grunt's head hole, you can insert a muzzle flare into, so he's already got his brain exploding, and they've tied these up for target practice. It's pretty gruesome. And a couple of the Marines are just sat around watching, like these two are sat down having a nice little time. Maybe the fact that a lot of these people aren't paying attention is gonna be the downfall when the Storm Covenant invades very quickly, or very soon. Julem Dharma is the initial scout, but after that, there's going to be a full Storm Covenant invasion. This is just an absolutely fantastic diorama. Usually, my dios are, like, sort of marked for being so overwhelming and everybody's dying everywhere, explosions, explosions, but this one is more intimate. I know there's a lot of people on this diorama, but it really does help that everything is very focused. I was also requested on stream to add a Craig Marine. <laughs> you guys got it. <laughs> so there he is. And I also had a Craig Chieftain on top of there. <laughs> so I've not even begun to describe all the little details that I love about this diorama. There is the medic treatment station where this guy's been injured in duty. Duty, duty, duty. Everyone is sort of reacting as they should do. Like this Marine is on guard over here, but he's looking towards the ODSTs. I just feel like it's got a lot of life, you know, like it's really brought to life. And that's what these dioramas should be all about. You may also notice there is a Halo Infinite logo here. If I get the time, I'm gonna replace this with Halo Infinite figures and have the Banished invading, but that's for another day. In general, I hope you enjoyed yourselves today. I hope you enjoy this diorama. There's gonna be a nice little montage at the end showing how I built it. Big shout out to all the support on my streams, all my videos, the massive spike in subscribers and subscribers to my new channel, Daily Halo. This is a really exciting time. In just four weeks time, we're heading to America. It's a really good time to be a content creator. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Please do let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite part of this diorama. You stay awesome, you stay safe, and Craig the Marine is signing off.